The first thing that you need to do is open the camera app and photograph your artwork. Make sure you zoom way in so that you can't see anything in the background like the table or whatever you're photographing on. That's going to save to the camera roll and you're going to open Stop Motion Studio. If somebody left a project open, you're going to have to hit the back arrow and then hit New Movie. Once you get into Stop Motion Studio, you're going to set the settings to green screen and you're going to see it turn black. And then you need to choose your background. So I chose a background. I'm going to go to the camera roll and pull up my artwork as the background for the green screen. There I am putting the camera onto a locker shelf. So your setup is going to look something like this. I have a locker shelf standing on top of a green poster board. That's going to be my green screen. You need to be careful to set up the iPad in such a way that you're not going to see those black legs of the stand in your photo. So the camera has to end up around the middle of that uh, screen shelf, and that's why it's leaning off the edge a little bit. I'm trying to get the camera lens right in the middle. Okay, so now I'm ready to start taking pictures. I grabbed a little toy dinosaur from the shelf in the art room, and you know what I realized right away? The dinosaur is green. I'm trying to use a green screen. I can't see him at all. So one thing I can try is playing around with the sensitivity. Um, but, you know, he's green on a green background. It's just not going to work very well. So I went back and I tried grabbing one of the yellow dinosaurs. I'm tweaking the sensitivity to make sure everything looks great. You don't want it to look foggy. Sometimes if you go too far, you can see kind of a haze around whatever you're photographing. I'm going to move him a little bit, take a picture, move him a little bit more, take a picture, move him a little bit more, take a picture, and I'm just going to keep taking tiny little steps and snap the camera as I go. Now once I get my dinosaur up to that green building, I'm having a problem again. I'm using a green screen, the building is green, the app does not like it. I can try playing around with the sensitivity again, but basically, you know, yellow and blue make green. And so I'm having a hard time with this yellow dinosaur, almost as hard a time as I had with the green one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn him around and I'm gonna sort of walk him out of the screen and instead, I have these little sheep that I drew on some paper and I cut out, and I'm going to use them instead. There's one more trick that I want to share with you, and it's how to use the onion skin. Over on the left side of your screen, you're going to see a slider. If you slide it just a little bit down, you're going to be able to see the ghost of the photo, the last photo that you took. So you can see now as I'm moving that sheep, I'm moving him just a little bit, taking a picture, just a little bit, taking a picture. But each time I can see where he was in the last image, and it's going to help me create a more smooth looking animation. Once I get my sheep all the way across my city, I'm going to hit the play button so I can see what I have so far. And once I like what I have, it's time to save my work. In the lower left side of the screen, I'm going to hit the back arrow. I'm going to choose the share button. And then I'm going to choose export movie. I want you to save your movie to the camera roll. So you're going to click where it says save video. And that's going to export your animation to the camera roll. And from there, you can import it into other apps or save it to Drive or whatever you're going to do with your animation today.